good afternoon because it's actually 12 19. welcome back to another vlog today i'm going to be decorating for fall we've got a lot going on right now we actually have an electrician coming in to do a complete rehaul there's a lot of stuff that has to be done we have an upgrade that we're doing um for our electric panel plus we are also getting um, dedicated lines for the air conditioning. It's a lot going on. And then we just had our, I'll show you, hold on. Oops. We just had our new storm door put in on the side of our home. We needed a new one of these doors and then I'm gonna be painting this door black as well. This is in our kitchen. So um, just, a lot of stuff going on and on top of everything else i just haven't been feeling well let me put you guys right here on my two-tier tray because <laughs> we get her like that yeah i haven't been feeling very well you guys know i have an autoimmune disease and there are times when i just don't feel well but you know i just have to keep pushing keep pushing through pushing 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 i didn't even want to make this video i'll be very honest you know i just I don't feel like doing things most of the time. I feel like plopping on my couch and just vegging out. That's it. Speaking of couch, we did get our couch. My previous video left off with the delivery trucks arriving. And um, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of what went on when they got here. I'm gonna show you some of that footage and I'm gonna make Pete uh, and myself some breakfast slash lunch, brunch, I guess. And then I'll come back here, we'll clean up a little bit, and then we'll go through certain areas of my home and I will try and decorate for fall, <laughs> even though it's hot today. Doesn't feel very fall-like, but yeah. sectional sofa by Jonathan Lewis. The color is what designers are calling the new neutral. It's called Gypsy Vintage, not your typical shade, but the hue still works with just about anything. It is so neutral, so easy to decorate with. I wanted something other than white and this sofa fit the bill. It's a mix between a gray and a taupe and just about any color goes with this cat. We opted for the cuddler piece right here as opposed to the chaise lounge. We figured that we needed the space. We didn't want it to interfere with the island. Even though having the cuddler makes this sectional very pricey, it was worth every penny, especially if you are low on space. I am in love.
One of the first things I want to do is um, try and reorganize all of this like it's not working out for me. This is where I store my bread. However, it is just too big for this counter. I don't have a lot of counter space, believe it or not. I have, you know, my island and stuff like that for food prep and stuff, but don't have a lot of counter space. So I want to decorate for full, but I also want to, you know, move things around. I long for that feeling. It's adorable. I love the way this looks here. It's nice and clean, and whoever wants uh, Nespresso can come over here, and whoever would like, uh, this is a hot mess over here, but whoever uh, wants a Keurig can come over here, and I'm gonna be fixing this area up along with that shelf. But that's after we're finished with this area. But I totally love this little touch of fall right here. No color, just for now, nice and clean. I got from Amazon. Mine was white and I really wanted a black one. I'm gonna leave this in my Amazon storefront. Very inexpensive and it comes with four sponges, the bamboo dish brush, and the black ceramic brush holder. Let's see, what does it say to do? Put water, put the sponge into the holder, drip detergent, and then enough water. So, we're going to do just that. <laughs> this in there. Put enough detergent in there. Put some water. And then the brush. And what I like about this one is that it's actually deeper than the white one. And it looks nice. It brings in the black.
dining room which currently looks like this it's crazy in here I know I have all of my decor on the dining room table and these bookcases that were in the living room are now here until further notice I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with them <sighs> so now we're gonna go on to this space before I go to my island I'm kind of jumping from spot to spot, I finished the kitchen area, cleaned the refrigerator. I'm, I'm really tired right now, but I'm gonna keep going. Let's fallify this area. Super cute cup. I bought this at the Goodwill for 99 cents. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is like all of the colors that I'm using this year. So I'm gonna put this here and that's gonna be for my spoon. I bought these last year off of Amazon. I have them in my Amazon shop. These little gold spoons. I'm gonna put them all in here. I mean, there's a lot, but so what? They're all gonna go right in there. I love it. There will be no lonely nights. Baby, if you let me try, I give you what you want. Dark and I am 
not finished with my living room, but this is what my couch is looking like right now. It looks pretty pitiful. Everything is everywhere. And what time is it? Oh my God, it's 5.17. I started this at noon. I still have a bunch of decor there. This is Christmas stuff. It was, I don't know. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, that's Christmas stuff. This is how I move this. This still looks very crowded to me and I'm not sure what to do about it. It's bothering me. I mean, these are things that I need. I need my knives here when I'm cooking. I need all of this stuff when I'm cooking, minus these two. I think I use these more. Let me turn this on. I've got these lights that my daughter gave me under the counter lights. They come off, you charge them. It has a magnet up there and um, you can change the light to whatever, you know, type of lighting you want. But um, I like this as my fruit bowl. I really do. I didn't have a fruit bowl and the fruit is just annoying me all over the place my KitchenAid. Now, to be quite honest with you, I don't use this a lot. Not a whole lot. I honestly don't. So that could go away somewhere um, and then free up a little bit of space. Look at my grandkids, how adorable. Look at Peter. He's back there doing all kinds of yard work. This I've had for a long time, this little uh, stand. I bought it on Etsy, but I sanded and I also I gave this a little stain update to special walnut because I wanted it to be a little darker. So I love the way it looks now. Over here, nothing. Just um, I might put a few pumpkins on those shelves and I don't think I'm gonna do anything with my beautiful pottery barn bowl. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, like around Christmas, I usually put acorns in there. So, um, I don't know, not acorns. What am I talking about? Pine cones. <laughs> I put pine cones in there. So that's what I might do, you know, this year, if I can find them down, downstairs in the basement. I do like how this came out. It, um, turn on the light. It's getting dark. That's how long I've taken. Um, I like it. I like it. It looks very fallish. I just love this little bowl that I got at Marshall's. It's adorable. And uh, these bowls I got last year at Target. Target Dollar Spot Pumpkins. These, I don't even remember where I got these little picks. I wanna say Michael's, but I can't 100%. This little sign is from the Dollar Tree. And then my little coffee uh, sign that I got at Target Dollar Spot. I love all of this. I really, 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 really love this Goodwill cup, it just came in. It just, it's just perfect. It's perfect. And I, I just, I love it. I saw it and I was like, oh, I have to have this. This is the color. You see everything, everything goes together. Toto, so yeah, I like that. Now we're gonna deal with uh, the living room. I do love this. I don't know, I don't know if these candlesticks are, are too much. You know, I, I kinda, I'm leaning towards, yes, it is. I don't like a lot of things. So I don't know if that looks good or if I should leave it the way I had it. The little ceramic pumpkin, the candle, and the vase vase with, um, with the uh, full leaves. These are nice, but they're just a bit much. I got those last year, and I think I'm gonna give those to my daughter if she wants them. If not, they're going to Goodwill because I bought new ones this year, very minimal. These are from Anthropology. I love them. These were 16 each. I know, a little pricey maybe, but it's what I wanted. Say something, something.
about the good times I've been sleeping through the long nights I've been shining in the sunlight I've been thinking how I'm alright There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah Cause you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep for the noise that's the air conditioner i'm actually laying down my legs are killing me my whole body hurts me it's been a day you know filming these decorate with me videos like for the seasons it is not easy it's a lot of work to film these and so not just for me, but for all of the YouTubers that you guys watch, you know, really give them a thumbs up, like their videos, leave them a nice comment, subscribe. Just, it's, it's a lot of work. YouTube is a lot of work. Yes, we do it because we love it, but don't think it's easy. <laughs> it's not easy to film. Even a cleaning scene, you have to stop fix the camera, turn it this way, clean, do, it's a lot of work. Kudos and much respect to all of my fellow YouTubers who, um, who do this all the time. I'm done for the evening. <laughs> Peter Parker actually, uh, cooked tonight and, um, I'm waiting for that to be ready and then I'll eat take a shower and watch season one episode two and three of house of dragon has anybody been watching that um first episode was really really good and it's taken me a while to actually be able to sit down and watch two and now three so that's it for us for saturday night i'll be right there I'll be right there. Who are you on the phone with? I'm not on the phone with anybody. You I'm filming. Selfies? I take huh? selfies. Selfies? I'm on the phone. For Mandingo. Get out of here. I'm filming, weirdo. I can't. I can't even relax for a minute. Good morning. I had a very good night's sleep. I needed it. I was extremely tired yesterday. Um... And then I woke up like a banshee, like a crazy lady. I basically wanted to change some things up, things that were bothering me. Okay, first things first. The throw that I have here, um, I had it over there and, you know, with the pumpkin and everything, and it was just too much. So I just threw it right here because... Like I said in a previous video, I'm going to be using this. This is not just for show. This is really and truly for me to get comfy when I'm watching my TV. The other change that I made was this pillow. I have two of them. And so what I did, oh, I put the uh, pumpkin pillow here just besides this one. It just looks better to me. What I did was um, I had the other one of those pillows that I just showed you here, and I took it away. I'm going to put it in the bedroom. Um, it was just too much. So I put this one. I had that one in the bedroom, and I just liked the way this looks. It's nice and calm. The other thing... Oh, here's my Hey There pumpkin pillow. I mean, this bench is not going to stay here for long you know, once they do the fireplace. Uh, but for now, that's where it's going to stay. Let me just back up. I'm a little excited. <laughs> These florals were up there. Some of them were. Um, and some of them were in that vase over there. 
I decided to put them all in that vase. It was bothering the heck out of me. I woke up and I was sitting here on the couch and I was like, ugh, I can't. This looks better in my opinion. And then I put three of these florals uh, in here. Three of these stems, it just looks better. It was just too much, all of them together on my coffee table. It was, again, bothering me. It was just too much. I left this pretty simple, just with my pumpkin bowl, where I house my coasters, remote, and glasses for the most part. And this is where I keep my lighter. Right now it's charging, but my lighter and the scissors to cut my wicks for my candles. This is actually a box that I got at Walmart for that had like these incense things in it and I tore it apart and now I can use it. I love it much better. Um, this is where, this was my mom's and I kept it. She loved breast accents. Anyway, this is where I house the remote for the picture light. And then I have my candle. Very simple. I didn't want a lot going on here. That um, floral display was just too much, in my opinion. I also changed the pompous to the entryway. I like it better here. It's, it's I don't know, I just like it better there. I, that's all I have to say about that. I joined the Samsung, I think it's called the Art Store or something. It's for when you have a frame TV. And um, I found this picture today and I love it. It looks like a barn and it just reminds me of full. Plus it has all of the colors that I'm working with. So I like this a lot better. Oh, I also changed the vase. This is a vase that I don't even remember what color it was, but I did this um, with some mixed paints and stuff, and I love it better than the white. It's just warmer. What else did I do? Let's see. Oh, the other thing I did was I took away the autumn sign and the little pumpkin sign. That was just too much. All the verbiage was bothering me. <laughs> Um, I thought it would look cute. Colors were on point. I liked that, but it was just too many words. This is simpler, and I like it much better. This stayed the same. Very simple. And the only thing that I did was the rest of the florals I put up there in that vase, and I added a couple of pumpkins. I took the pumpkins that I had on the window sill and put two of them here. And where's the other one? Um... I don't remember where I put it. Oh, I put it over here to make this a little pumpkin trio. And that is it. I just, I couldn't take it. I woke up and it was like full exploded in here and it was bothering, bothering. So, oh, I had the hello autumn sign and I moved it over here just because this is all nice and I don't know. I just wanted it here. This I'm going to leave here by my KitchenAid mixer. I think it's kind of cute. It gives a pop of that color. But the other one that said you were the pumpkin to my spice, I, I, I can't. Every YouTuber that I watch has that set, and it's just it's too much. I can't. So what I did was I put out this one, this is from last year. This is Hearth and Hand. It has that beautiful rust brown that I love. Other than that, nothing else has changed. It's amazing how just changing a couple of things. Let me sit my butt down. Oh, um, it's amazing how changing a couple of things can make such a huge difference. I just, I feel better now. These things were bothering me, and I didn't even know it. Like I said, when I woke up, it was just like it smacked me in the face. I was like, oh no, I must have been really tired. I was. I guess I'm gonna end this video here. I have to get ready for the work week. <laughs> work week. I can't. 
And this week I am working all the way through Sunday, so it's going to be a tough, tough week for me. If I have a chance today, I'm going to film for my next vlog, maybe um, a DIY with a vase that I have. Um, I want to paint it a different color, but I have to see if I have the paint there. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm not really going to do anything else except for, you know, change my bed sheets and maybe um, fallify my room just a tiny bit. And if I do, I will film. It's not going to be anything major. Um, so I may not, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I know that it was kind of long, <laughs> but that's the way it goes around here. Sometimes they're very long. Anyway, have a great week ahead. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.